Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlotte. It's been a while since I filmed a recipe video, so I thought I'd share with you my vegan shepherd's pie. It's been a gloomy, rainy day today, so it's a perfect day to have shepherd's pie, and I'm so looking forward to tasting this recipe after I make this video, so let's get started. Firstly, I'm boiling some water in a large pot with some salt for the potatoes. You'll need some rusted potatoes. Peel them and cut them into half-inch cubes. Once the water is boiling, add in all the potatoes and cook until they're fork tender. You'll need half of a medium onion. Dice the onions. Mince 4 cloves of garlic Roughly chop half of a medium carrot I'm going to mince it in a food processor Roughly chop 1 teaspoon of rosemary You'll need about 150 grams of creamy mushrooms or you can use any mushrooms of your choice. Place it in the food processor and blitz until it's a fine mince. To the cooked potatoes, add some vegan butter, nutritional yeast, freshly cracked black pepper, almond milk or any plant milk of your choice, some salt, then mash it until it has a creamy texture. You can add a little bit more milk if you want it a little creamier. Preheat the oven to 205 degrees Celsius. In a hot pan, add some vegan mincemeat. Here I'm using some Beyond Beef. Pan fry and break up all the mince. And once it's cooked, remove it from the pan. If it overcooks, it becomes kind of a tough texture. In the same pan, I'm adding some vegan butter. Keep the heat on medium low. And once the vegan butter has melted, add the diced onions. Saute the onions until they're soft and translucent. Once the onions are soft, add the carrots and saute for a few minutes. Then add the minced garlic, saute for one to two minutes. Increase the heat to medium high, then add the cremini mushrooms. Cook for about 5-6 to six minutes until the volume of mushrooms reduces by half. To the same pan of mushroom mixture, add some black beans or peas. I just prefer black beans. Right after, I'm adding some steamed corn and the Beyond Beef that we cooked off just now. Seasoning with some black pepper, rosemary, some sea salt, then mix to combine well. To make the gravy, add some plain flour to the mixture, then mix to combine well. Then add some water, mix to combine well, and let it simmer until the mixture has thickened. I'm going to bake the shepherd's pie in a Pyrex. Here I'm layering one layer of mashed potatoes. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just creates a rough, even layer. Then I'm going to put in all the mushroom meat mixture in one even layer. Then I'm using up the other half of mashed potatoes. I'm putting a few dollops on top so that it'll be easier for me to spread it out. Then use your spoon to really smooth out the surface. Bake in the oven for about 20 minutes until the top has a nice golden brown color. After about 20 minutes, remove it from the oven and let it cool for about 5 to 10 minutes. This lets the shepherd's pie set a little so then when you scoop it out, it'll be in one piece.
Let's try the shepherd's pie. It's just amazing. It just tastes amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe. Comment down below if you enjoyed watching this video. It will really help out the algorithm and I would really appreciate it. I'll see you in my next video very soon. Thank you again for watching. Bye!